Hello everybody and welcome to McCarthy Math 155. This is the third grade edition. And today we are on day 99. And we are modeling fractions on a number line. Will you see that number on top? That's called the numerator. It describes the amount that is being considered. And when you jump down from the fraction bar denominator, it's the total number of equal parts. Sure love me some fractions. So let's read it. It is one third. And what kind of fraction is this? It's a unit fraction because there's a one in the numerator. And we will write one third. Here's what you're going to do. So we're going to start with a line going down right there. And I want you to place a zero. This is our starting point. Okay, yeah, you've seen a number line before where it's like one, two, three. But this time we're going to label where those fractions are. Just like when we drew our area models, we looked at the denominator first. What is the denominator? It's three. So in our area model, that meant that we needed three equal parts. Well, now it means that we need three equal jumps between each hole. So that would be one, two, three. So right here, this would be one hole. That means that this would be zero thirds. If we took one jump, that would be one jump out of three. Two jumps, that would be two jumps out of three and one whole is the same as three thirds. So what we need to do now is plot a point. Plot means to place a point at the one third. So it's right there. So it would kind of be like this right here. We're just gonna shade in a little bit. To show what amount equals one third. All right, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Let's go ahead and take a look at number two. 